So far, the Refined Consumer Protection Bill contains 115 clauses. The Director of Consumer Affairs says it is significantly more than the previous bill. Philip McLaurin says the new provisions ensure consumers get greater protection under the law. The bill was also revised to be more in step with the new CARICOM draft consumer model, a subject of discussion at the regional level. CARICOM has drafted a model CARICOM consumer protection law which is supposed to cause um, the whole process of harmonization to, to take effect in the CSME um, environment. Uh, which means, therefore, that member states must have common provisions in the legislation to ensure that, you know, the same level of protection is uh, uh, accorded to consumers um, in the different jurisdictions within the CSME. The bill deals with issues like protection through product safety, unfair trade practices and false advertising, among others. A new component evolves e-commerce. McLaurin says at a time of increasing electronic transactions, including online shopping, consumer protection is a necessity. The director says this component involves other countries as cross-border issues will be raised. When you, you stay in St. Lucia, the order from a supplier who does not reside in St. Lucia, there are issues of jurisdiction which must be settled as well. It's, um, but also it calls for a greater level of cooperation. I mean, you, there are different jurisdictions, two different jurisdictions or more. At the same time, you need to have some kind of cooperation agreement um, to have agencies in different jurisdictions working or um, sharing information um, on, on, on products. Active participation by the public last year helped shape the bill's revision, but so far this year, public interest has been dwindling. McLaurin is hopeful that the number of people attending the consultations will increase as the public should have a say in a bill that will be drafted for the sole purpose of protecting citizens. Last year you, you saw um, uh, you know, uh, higher numbers in terms of part participation. This year it has been um, no, well, on, on, on the low side, so to speak. Um, but um, we have castries um, to, to contend with and we are hoping that um, you know, stakeholders who are more or less concentrated in the north uh, would, would, would um, come out because there are uh, quite a number of new provisions which I believe they, they may have um, one or two things to say about. The Consumer Affairs Department held a public consultation on the bill in Sufra last Thursday. The dialogue will move to Castries next week. After the consultation phase, the draft bill will be revised, submitted to Cabinet and subsequently tabled in the House of Assembly. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.